What up you guys? I hope you're doing well. We're here for our weekly anchor message. I'm so tired. I just finished filming the new moon workshop. Um, I filmed it before work and after work and I'm behind. Um, I, I got like so tired over the weekend and yeah, I just like, I was like trying to film after work one night and I just couldn't do it. I was just a burnt to a little crisp. So I was like, well, fuck it. I'll just get the new moon workshop up when it's up and it's still going to be good. It's still going to be valid. It'll still be helpful. So that will be probably posted sometime in the morning. Um, I'm imagining it'll probably be loading like overnight. So you can look out for that. I'm going to post our um, anchor message first. So you'll see that sooner than the workshop. But I feel really good about the workshop. Lots of really helpful um, like advice and comfort and direction for like the feeling that we're in right now, which the ascension symptoms are so real. I just feel like the weight of being like leagues under the sea. Like if you guys like feel that, like are you heavy? Are you just like achy? Are you tired? Are you just like, what? Why does it feel like I'm carrying the earth? Um, and I think we are. <laughs> and so the reading this week, the assignments are a little infuriating, but they're speaking exactly to our energy right now. So we have the riddle from the Wild Unknown Archetypes, followed by the comic, followed by the dead end. And some of this was referenced, cross-referenced in the new moon workshop. It was like, are you serious? So underneath the riddle, we have the Knight of Wands. Underneath the comic, we've got the Hierophant. And underneath Dead End, we've got the Four of Cups. So all in all, I think what this reading means is that it feels like we're in the midst of this riddle. And we're trying to figure out, okay, I see my patterns. I see these things that have all led up till now. I can see how all these experiences in my life have brought me like to, to where I'm at. But we're like, in the middle of this initiation portal, we're like, how do I just get out of the shit store? <laughs> like, how do I get to the, be on the threshold of this like entanglement where it feels like we've just hit like a big patch on the trail of like, briar and wild roses and thorn bushes and we think we can like navigate through it and then we're just like stuck and the thorns are stuck all over us and it's like the more we fight the more we get stuck in the thorns and they're just taking us down and it's like fighting in quicksand right or like trying to swim out of an eddy like out of a current where we have to just like release and relax and let it spit us out and that's exactly what's happening right now. It's like, we don't see how it's all playing together yet and what it actually is going to take for us to get past this ongoing thinking that like the crescendo has happened, the climax has happened. Like, it's almost like, I was just talking about this at the end of the, the workshop, but in today's reading, I had written about it feeling like at the end of like the Halloween movies when Jamie Lee Curtis like has like killed Michael Myers like I don't know like 12 times in the last 10 minutes and like we think he's dead we think he's dead and it's like oh no we gotta go hover over him and get as close as we can so he can like pop back up again and be like no I'm not dead and you're like oh, I'm so tired I'm so tired of fighting for my life so that's what, like it's like that again we're like no I thought this cycle was finished why is this continuing I thought that the I resolved the issue. I thought this got fixed. I thought this was like the end of having to do this, but it's all over. It's come. It's continuing to happen. And I thought I was saved. So we're like, why? Why? Why does it continue? Why does the problem persist? You're like, what am I not doing in order to get out of this trial and tribulation? And it's like, you're like, I thought I've like 
come at it from every angle. What am I still lacking? What am I still not doing? And so right now we're like jumping through hoops, doing everything that we can to solve the riddle so we can get through this moment and on to the next one. It's like we're stuck at the airport in a layover. And we're like, if I eat one more like cheap airport food, if I like have to spend a hundred more dollars on one more unsatisfying bottle of water, like I just need to leave the airport and we're trying to force the plane to get there. And you know, when you're like bargaining with reality and you're like, come on, anything but this, I can't live like this any longer. I'm going out of the airport, I'm going crazy. <laughs> and then the universe is like eight more hours. And you're like, no. So that's how we're feeling right now. And the jumping through hoops and everything, it's not going to get us any further right now. The, the only way that we're really going to see this lesson and really get it is like over time. This is something that like we're in this cul-de-sac. We're in this dead end right now. And it's not like we're not trapped. It's just that there, it's a necessary stop along the journey. It's like we have to run by someone's house in the cul-de-sac in that dead end and we need to get something from that house and we need to have a visit with this person before we're prepared to go on to the next stop. And so the best thing that we can do for ourselves is try to maintain our humor about the situation because then it will help us divert from the opponent's attempts to get us worked up, to get us upset, to get us irritated, to get us angry, to get us hopeless and despairing and enraged and, and like an episode of Snapped. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what is that meme of the lady who's blonde and she's like this? <laughs> like, you fuck yourself, you fucking bitch. Like, like, that is what the opponent is trying to like trigger us into right now, but we're like, we're not gonna do it. Because every time we feel like going there, we're gonna remember that lady. That, <laughs> we're not going to be that lady in the meme. We're just going to try to maintain our humor. Humor as a defense mechanism. Don't put anybody down. Don't be like sarcastic or you're biting. But like right now, like humor is sometimes a defense mechanism that is um, a form of avoidance. But sometimes for me, I feel like survival has been dependent many times on me being able to find humor in anything and laugh and find a moment, even if it's an absolute rebellion of the despair, I will make a joke of this. <laughs> and it's needed and people needed it, right? So that is your method of survival right now. It's like your, you know, it's, it's your ability to kind of clown your way through the heaviness. And you're still able to take things seriously you're still able to stay at the top of your game, but it's almost like when you're playing around and horsing around, you do better than if you're like on edge, right? It's like in the in the surgery room when they've got the music going and they're all relaxed and they're like telling jokes and they're not taking it so seriously, even though the, th the brain surgery is always serious, the heart surgery is always serious. But if they handle it like that, then they will burn out and they will be on edge and they'll be more likely to make a mistake than if they're like, Another day, another dollar, like love a brain surgery, like, you know, <laughs> brains, you know, like playing around, not like in a, in a negligent way, but like in a relaxed way through your life, like you are taking it seriously enough. So you need to lighten up a bit because it's getting too heavy. It's getting unbearably heavy and it's, it's giving you risk of burnout where you don't find like the joy or the pleasure of really anything anymore. You're just like all work, no play. And then like the, the there's no rewards, there's no results right now. So you're just like, what is it all for? Ah, I'm so dis dissatisfied. So the lessons are gonna come over time. You've already learned so much that you're just like, right now we're integrating and we are using what we've learned to start at a freshman level, first year in college, learning how to navigate life at the university. Having left the nest, we're learning how to be, you know, young adults, uh, metaphorically speaking. So we're integrating a lot of wisdom right now. So the fresh lessons are gonna set and there, we're going to be looking back on them with a lot of clarity and a lot of insight soon enough, but we just can't force it all to come out at once. 
We can't force our way into this perfected state to make the shoe fit so that we can go ahead and go to the ball and have our fun. Like it all kind of has to play out in its own timing. It all has its own holistic, organic timing that, uh, that has to play out. And I mean, there are other variables and people in the world that are contributing to any given situation that we find ourselves in. So those factors are coming into play too, and they're falling into place and everyone has their free will and their, and their part to play. So sometimes it's not necessarily all about us right and that could be something that's making us feel even heavier and overthinking and feeling like oh am i failing like why isn't it happening like what more is wrong with me and then you start picking yourself apart second guessing yourself and and you just start going in a downward spiral whereas like it's not like just just know you've done like great work go on the summer vacation after the big final exam. Um, you're at a dead end. So trying to force anything right now is pointless. It's only going to leave you in a state of discontentment, right? The four of cups is like, oh, I'm so bored. I'm so burnt out. I'm so discontent. This is the winter of my discontent. I can't get no satisfaction. <laughs> like, but you're like not, not paying attention to the good things um, in this particular card, it's showing like this crane holding an umbrella over this person, sheltering them from the rain. And the person is just like, oh, I'm just sitting out here in the storm. It's awful and I'm forlorn. And they're not seeing that like, oh, they have like a marvelous little like spirit animal helper, like holding a, an umbrella over them. Wow, like the universe is really sheltering me and taking care of me. The five of pentacles was a card that came up um, in the, in, in the, in the new moon reading. And it's, you know, about turning with, don't get so self-centered and so self-focused that you forget to just turn to the light and see how you are being provided for and seeing how, you know, the light is taking care of you always. So right now, forcing anything, not accepting the fact that you're just, you're in a dead end moment. Like, it's not like, foreboding it's not telling you you've gone the wrong way it's just like hey like you the, this is the end of the road and you're noticing the things that are coming to an end and there's a new beginning beginning but right now there's just like the sorting out that has to be done things have to you know um wrap up and tie up loose ends and you know figure out, you know, the next step and things like that. So it's all coming together right now, but it feels very tangled and knotted. So just sit tight in the cul-de-sac, right? Think about this as like, you've, you've got like this big road trip and maybe you're on a scavenger hunt or maybe you have a series of tasks that you have to complete in like a relay race across the country, like the amazing race. And the cul-de-sac, the dead end, is like you're sitting there and you can't go anywhere yet. Like the next thing, the next place isn't ready. So you're having to sit there and kill time and you have to like go visit this person and do this thing and grab this thing from them in order for the next part of the, the trip to like to go off properly. So it all fits together. So just know that like, even though you're frustrated and you don't want to be in the dead end right now, the ask, the big ask is just to be, just to surrender and trust and trust the timing and be fine to be with the dead end right now, because otherwise you're going to be feeling very discontented. And part of being able to manifest fulfillment is just having the capacity to be fulfilled without anything you know, stimulating you, right? W without getting results. Can I just be in fulfillment? Like while I'm waiting in line at the grocery store and before I get to leave the house and whether or not I have the right coffee cream and whether or not I, my dreams come true. Like, can I just be fulfilled without a stimulant, without a result, without an effect? Can I just choose that and be able to turn it on at will? Um, we can, we can train ourselves. Um, it's part of self mastery. And I think that's what we're learning how to do right now is learning how to connect with that light, connect with that source of fulfillment without having like these outer vessels that we need to, to connect through with the light through. 
Um, because everything that we want, everything that we think is going to give us a hit of energy, it's really just the light that we're connecting with and that we want to connect with. But we get really caught up in the vessel. The, the, we think it's the, the beer or the glass of wine or the weed or the lover or the job or the title or the trip. Oh, it's going to be so great when I take this trip. But like you're going to be there on that trip and you're still not going to know what you want to eat. <laughs> You know, and then you're still going to have the same crowds of, of the general public everywhere you go and all the things that annoy you about everywhere else. It's going to be there on that trip, too. And if you're not ready to just be happy with the trip, then the trip will turn against you and you'll have a terrible time because it'll be like, oh, we got to the hotel. Everything was this and like we weren't allowed to get into that and, and it can go off haywire. So the thing is not the fulfillment. The light is the fulfillment, the vessel, it'll morph and change the way that you need it to, to elevate your soul. So if it's, if the vessel is turning against you, then how do you navigate that challenge in the game of life, right? What is, you know, how do you, what, what move do you pull in that situation? We've got to learn to pause and say, oh, what a pleasure. Why is this in my movie? Why, why would this be in my movie? What is it? What a part of the plot is this? What is the subplot here? Why is this in the scene? What is driving the scene right now? You know, what is it? What is my motivation? <laughs> Think about that. Every time you see things playing out that are beginning to trigger you. And then you can choose from there with like sovereignty and free will. Okay, now that I've gotten possession of myself and I'm not just reacting to the situation, how do I want to move through the scene that I find myself in now? All right, y'all. Riddle, Knight of Wands, stay focused and don't get caught up in shiny object syndrome or being non-committal and like falling back on your like good commitments that you've made to yourself. Follow through, um, but also don't feel like you have to like continue to jump through hoops to solve this riddle. Like it's one of those where you've got to like walk away and and give it a rest and and surrender. And it'll all come come to you in time in its own good time. Um, the Hierophant, like learning the lessons and taking everything that you've learned to now integrate that into the way that you approach life and this next leg of the journey. But we are integrating, so just have a sense of humor about everything right now. It may feel like nothing's going your way and nothing is like happening and, and it could make you feel very frustrated. So just try to be the clown, the comic, have a good time. Um, don't let anything steal your laughter because the laughter is what's continuing to help you be easeful as you move forward. It's giving you more momentum. This dead end is something that like you can't bypass this moment. You're just going to have to be there for a minute. And so the best thing you can do is just surrender to this and accept it and find like all the good things about being in this moment. Make the most of the present and then you'll feel more fulfilled. But if you fight the moment and you're all like, I don't know why this is happening and it's a futile attempt to fight it. So it'll only leave you discontented. So just accept where you're at right now and things will begin to flow all in good time. And I think that things are going to be happening soon. <laughs> soon. All right. Well, I am exhausted. I will see y'all tomorrow for our manifestation oracle message. Um, but until then, enjoy the new moon in Leo workshop and follow this channel and comment on the video and all that stuff. It helps the videos get out to other people and it will suggest them um, in the thumbnails and all that. All right. All day long, my shares. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it, then please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, turn on notifications to be notified of when I drop content. Like the videos, comment, share them. Anything that you do helps these messages get out to other people who need them. So you watching a video and taking an action on it actually makes a positive difference in someone else's life.